what's good y'all it's your boy ross back at again with another video so we got to talk about this man wwe stopped selling sasha banks and naomi's merchandise on the wwe shop.com um this is kind of adding to my theory that this is not a work um i know when they initially said something on smackdown they pretty much threw them under the bus they pretty much made them seem um as if they didn't care about the wwe universe they didn't care about the fans they didn't care about the business they threw them under the bus i'm going to give my thoughts and opinions on that later but this is one of those things where it's like we really hadn't seen something like that in it for some people when we was watching it uh during the live stream um the live stream reactions i did uh friday some people were saying oh this gotta be a word because they don't ever do this but more things have happened this weekend that alludes to it not being a work so we're gonna check out this article by web is jericho.com and we're gonna go into what was said monday night's raw was thrown into disarray when sasha banks and naomi walked out due to being unhappy with creative subsequently it has been reported that the duo has been taken off of all live events until the end of july and on smackdown michael cole would announce they have been suspended indefinitely and that there will be a future tournament to crown new wwe women's tag team champions now indicating that their WWE careers genuinely hang in the balance, the pair's merchandise have been removed from WWE shop, which doesn't even happen when WWE release talents. Therefore, it appears the company is doing this as a power play to limit their royalties. As you can see, when you search for their name on the WWE shop, they'll say, sorry, nothing found for Sasha Banks and sorry, nothing found for Naomi. Check out these other items instead. So they're not playing, they are legit trying to make sure they uh get rid of anything that could potentially gain sasha and, Na and naomi some extra funds there has been some talk among wrestling insiders that both women contracts are expiring this year so given their suspension it's possible neither will return to wwe television again however as sasha banks has mainstream fame due to featuring in the disney plus series the mandalorian and naomi is related through marriage to roman reigns it seems doubtful wwe won't at least try to resolve the issue before then nevertheless wwe does hold significant power over both women as the company can simply freeze the pair's deals to ensure they can't work elsewhere and this is one of those things where they can do that they can freeze their contracts if they wanted to and now they're just sitting on the shelf you know um it's it's really it's really a weird situation here like this is probably never really happened to this magnitude uh the article makes a great point that even with people that get released their stuff is still up on the shop but they took their stuff off the shop and that's another reason why i believe this is not a work because even though you get wrestlers get royalties from that the company also gets paid off of that by merchandising as well so they would lose money by taking taking their merch off the store granted it just i don't know how much uh merch sasha and naomi is selling but i'm pretty sure it's still somewhat decent so they they're willing to cut their losses there i've also seen uh footage on on twitter where on the intro opening package on like for any wwe event they'll show like flashes of different moments and different wrestlers well apparently sasha was on one of those moments but they completely took her off i think sasha was on there and i think maybe naomi had an appearance but i know sasha had like an appearance on the opening graphics and they completely took her off so it's like huh they took taking her off the op uh, opening graphics i know i believe sasha and naomi have like switched up their twitter handles they don't follow wwe i don't think they have like wwe info in their bio or anything like that on twitter like it's one of those things where it's like damn like this doesn't seem like a work more and more and more as i think about it it seems more like this is wwe or vince mcmahon really trying to make an example of anyone that even thinks about walking out this is not the first time someone's walked out we all remember what happened with what happened with cm punk and even then with the cm punk stuff they didn't really do anything substantial until i want to say they fired him the day of his wedding something like that which was super petty in it in, in in itself so i don't know man this is 
this is really interesting and i i don't know where this is gonna go honestly like i know a lot of people are still in the camp of oh well um you know wwe was wrong for this um they they shouldn't have done this i know booker t has said uh they shouldn't have in, like tried to embarrass them live on television i know um cm punk is in support of them you know saying yo we need to support these women um uh, basically saying like they can get rid of you at any moment it's like you're you know the show will keep going on type situation so and then there's other people that are saying no this was unprofessional of them for what they did how they handled it and some people feel like this is what happens when you're unprofessional some people make the point if you just walk out on your job you you expect them to show you any love and compassion or care if you just leave your job when you're supposed to do something or you have an obligation to do something so some people make that point as well um for me personally i do think it could have been handled better on both sides i'm not sitting up here saying i'm pro uh sasha and naomi for how they handled it but i can understand their frustrations with the women's division in the women's tag division so i understand why they felt like that and understand why like you know what screw this um we're out so i can get the frustration but i can also understand wwe standpoint for them they're like yo you're gonna still be in the main event granted i'm i'm guessing it's more so they uh sasha wanted something substantial for the women tag division which is understandable um but they were you know wwe side of things like well we were still gonna put you in the women's main event but yeah man i, I don't know there is there's really two sides to this both sides i point i do think wwe made a mistake of trying to bash them publicly live on television i don't think that was necessary i think they could have just kept it kind of low-key or if anything be like you know what we're, we're having a tag team division uh well a tournament for the tag team division even though if you want to be honest bro it's, it's, it's not looking too good even for that, you know? Someone posted a picture of the roster and Charlotte's gone off for, tele, you know, written off television. Naomi and Sasha's gone. There's only like maybe five or six people left on the roster. Not even that. It's not even, it's not even that many people left on the SmackDown side of things. Like the roster is super depleted. At least maybe five people. So I don't know how they're going to do this. I think they should just get rid of the belts because there's not enough people unless you incorporate NXT to potentially be involved. But outside of that, man, I, even then, it's just like, I don't know what they're going to do. It, it, putting the tag titles on somebody else, having a tournament, it's not going to change the fact that those belts not have not been utilized correctly in a sense um, of building them up as something really substantial for the women's division. In my personal opinion, I think having them fight Dewdrop and Nikki Ash over and over and over can get kind of boring and redundant in my personal opinion. So I don't know, man, this is not, it's not giving me work vibes. I think this is legit. WWE is going rogue. Sasha and Naomi went rogue and it'll be interesting to see if they say anything uh, in the future. I know Sasha, there was footage of her at a concert saying, you know, just having a good time. I'm like, fuck it. And I don't know what Naomi's been up to in that sense as well. So Comment down below. Let me know. Do you guys think this is a work? Because some of you guys feel like this is all a big ruse. Or do you guys really believe this is there's some real tension here? Some real issue between Sasha Banks, Naomi, and WWE. Let me know down below, man. But I appreciate all the love and support on the channel. Road to 90K. I almost forgot. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.